Let's talk about my new favorite tech tool, Aura. It's called Aura PM, which stands for Project Management. This is an actual quote. I will never understand why Trello is the go-to when Aura exists. And I've got to say, after using Aura for several months now, I couldn't agree more. Aura has become my perfect and go-to tool for every single task, and it is completely free. So without further ado, let's dive into the best features and start digging into what makes this tool so powerful. The first thing you'll want to do is go to Aura.com. PM, that stands for project management. And we're going to sign up for an account. If you don't want to manually enter all your details, you can also sign in with your email account. Quick tip for you, by the way, if you don't like to sign into things on the web, Aura also has a ton of different ways that you can use their service. You can do it across any of these web platforms, but you can also download their apps, Mac, PC, or on your mobile phone. I actually access Aura on both Chrome and through the app on my Mac. They both work exceptionally well and they both look very similar. One of the best things about Aura is that it's cloud-based. That means if you were to enter a task on your web browser in the morning, but then go and look and add to your tasks later in the afternoon on one of the apps that you've downloaded, all of your details will be there across whatever kind of platform you're using. So you're brand new, you're looking at a blank slate here, and you want to create a new project. Think of your projects as the overall theme of the thing that you're going to be working towards. For example, one of my main projects is client tasks. And this is where I monitor everything that I have coming in for my clients. When you want to create a new project, simply look for this plus sign in the upper left-hand corner and select new project. Aura is awesome because they have tons of free templates for many different use cases. I like to use these simple pipelines and that's because I can keep it color coded and it's very easy for me to separate these columns into things like, in prog uh, like new tasks, in progress, or done. But you can also peruse and see what fits your business best. Maybe you want to use the freelance template, which is really good, by the way, for just strictly task-based kind of things. Be sure to peruse the different options that you guys have. Of course, if you pick a template and you don't end up liking it, it's really easy to archive it. So let me show you what that looks like. If, for example, you think that this freelance template might be good for you, and then you look at this format and you think, you know what, that doesn't look like something I actually want to do, no problem. Come over here to your projects, Go to project settings and scroll down to either delete or archive project. Okay, let's go back. By the way, anytime you want to go back to your main dashboard, this aura logo symbol is the way to do that. So I'm going to create a new project from scratch again. I'm going to use the same style that I like to use as well. And we're going to create this together. So theoretically, you are now creating this client to do's. Is there a apostrophe there? I have no idea. It doesn't really matter, I guess. We're going to confirm and start building out our tasks. So this is the main project, and these are our tasks. Tasks are otherwise called cards. Aura likes to say that cards are the kind of things where we can create all sorts of new details. Cards are places that we will add the actual to-do. So I'm just going to ballpark here. I'm going to say that you are booking flights to Chicago. It's one of your tasks. So we're going to add that. We're going to add, and that's one card, by the way, another card or task that we might want to create. Something else that you might be doing typically as a VA is posting client A's social media. Let's dive into the cards because the cards are where the real magic happens. So I'm going to single click on my booking flights to Chicago. You know you need to book for a client and I want us to fill out this card a little more so that we get more value from it. Let's first look at the menu bar up at the top. We've got a ton of different options. The first one being we can attach a file. File attachments are great, especially when it comes to tasks like posting on behalf of a client on their social media accounts. That's because you can attach a picture or anything that they want attached to their social media. You can attach notes, links. There's really no limit for what kind of stuff you can attach. That way, when you get back to doing this task at a later time, you can simply 
you can basically get all your attachments right here on this card instead of hunting and fishing through different emails, different notes, different things that you may have left here and there. So attachments are great. The second thing I love so much are labels. You can create any and as many labels as you want. I like to create labels for different client names. That way I can... That way, when I label the stuff that I'm working on, I know really quickly just by eyeballing it who I'm working on um, because it's color coded. You might have five different clients. What we're going to do is basically keep adding labels. So these would obviously be the names of your clients. Um, you'd also, of course, don't have to do names. You can label anything you want, but names for me are, are my usual go to. It's a really quick way for me to kind of get a ballpark view for who I'm working with. Uh, you can also change the color scheme. So this is really um, totally up to you. Like I said, it's pretty customizable. So let me show you what this looks like. I've labeled booking flights for Chicago for client A because that's who needs to go. When you get back to your project overview, I can very quickly see that you know client A is the one that I'm booking travel for. And then I can do that for this person too. So super, super easy way to utilize labels. Something else that I love so much, the checklist. So checklists are great too, and I'll show you an example of how they work so well. So you add checklists right into the card itself. So we're gonna do travel details. Now, whenever you're booking travel for clients, they typically tell you things like where they're going to and from. So we're gonna say they're going uh, from LAX to Boston. Uh, and we're just going to pop in some fake dates. And okay, so you get the gist of that. You can add as many details as you want for this kind of checklist. I'm going to X that out, come back in. Just to show you, by the way, that there's no save button. Whatever you type in here or change, it's automatically saved. So as soon as you X out, everything is just saved as you have typed it. We hide these. Okay, so soon as you've actually done something, so you've put your to-do down for travel, you've gone and you've actually um, sent the, the flight options, you've done your research, your clients picked one, all good things. So then you can simply check it off and you'll see that you've completed one of three tasks. Check, check, check. If you want to see what you've already done, there's a very simple way to bring those tasks back. That way you can already see that you've basically done everything you need to do. Okay, and of course, if you uncheck, this um, reverts to just show you how much you've actually completed. This right here is totally irrelevant to us. This upvote is pretty much for teams. Uh, same here for watch updates. If you are a VA or some freelancer who's working with a team of people, um, these two tools would probably be utilized. Uh, something else that I think is really cool but um, does require an upgrade to use this feature is setting up repeatable tasks. So not a big deal for me. I don't typically set these up, but if you do have repeatable tasks that are exactly the same week by week, what you can actually do is set this up. You set the parameters. So for example, uh, perhaps you do post to a social media's web, uh, website or social media on a weekly basis, and you do want to set this up as a repeatable card. You would set up the details here and click start task. So we would actually need to upgrade here. I want to say that an upgrade is maybe $6 a month, but again, for you and I as solo people, not a huge deal. Other things you can do under here as well is save as a template. So if you're doing a lot of travel booking or you've created a card that um, is really useful to you and you're going to use again and again, you'll definitely want to save that as a template. You can also duplicate, you can archive it, you can delete it, all that good stuff. I hear your questions already. You're thinking, what do I do if I'm done with a task? Very simply, you're going to click and drag your task from card to card. So we're doing as in we're working on client age travel and then we're done as in everything is booked. Don't even worry about it. Uh, you can also add as many different subheadings as you want. And if you don't dig this view, you actually can simply double click and that minimizes everything. So it definitely gives you a cleaner viewpoint. Couple more things I want to draw your attention to as you go back into the cards. 
You can expand your view so that you keep a list of your to-dos over on the left-hand side while enlarging one of the to-dos you're working on on the right-hand side. So this is just a different viewpoint so you can enlarge or shrink that back down. One last thing I want to draw your attention to is that if you do decide to upgrade to a paid version, there is one more perk that I think comes with the paid versus the free account. One, you can plan some of this out. So you can basically map out on your own calendar when you wanna work on a certain task or project, you can set yourself deadlines. So uh, if you know that you have this project to do at a certain time, you set your deadline, you set the date. And then last but not least, one of my favorite things is that you can track your time right within Aura itself. Something that makes this so powerful is that it basically renders time tracking tools obsolete. You don't need to worry about tracking on a different website. There's nothing else to open. You start, you pause, you stop your track time. You can also manually enter your hours. Um, so for some reason, if you do forget, you can simply type in your start time and uh, make amendments that, that way. This is particularly helpful if you are an hourly virtual assistant or even if you're new, doesn't really matter if you're working on a monthly flat fee, tracking your time is a really great way to kind of gauge how fast you are, how efficient you are at certain tasks or even how long certain tasks take you. So having this um, automatic tracker within the cards is great so that you know, hey, t travel tasks typically take me two to three hours. Um, so you'll know basically how to plan about your day. Uh, so trackers and timers can be very, very powerful. But alas, that tracker is absent on the free version. So something to consider, of course, there are other trackers. So if that's not a big deal to you or you have a tracker that you already use, like Harvest, for example, then don't even worry about it. Last but not least, you can add comments to yourself. Comments are great. Uh, uh, by the way, again, you can add attachments, you can add voice memos, you can add videos, you can add GIFs if you wanted to make yourself happy. Um, but comments are great too, because when you're working on a task, if you don't have time to finish it, or you're working on something on a Friday and you come back on a Monday, you can always write things about where you left off. I consider these comments as um, a little memory jog, if you will. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Aura is free, easy to use. It has great UX design. It is a great option for very simple task and project management. And for the most part, I think the free version is more than sufficient for most freelancers and virtual assistants like you and me. 